Hello today and welcome you to my world of watches and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of my watch suggestions for the 1111 AliExpress sale. Let's see what it's all about. So as you know the 1111 AliExpress sale is just around the corner. It may have already started by the time this video is released. If you don't know the 1111 AliExpress sale is basically the biggest sale on AliExpress. There are huge discounts, coupons and I think it's worth taking a look at. Not only watches, for example, me, I'm planning on buying a polishing machine, but of course, in this video, we're talking about watches. I've done quite a few of these videos throughout the years. They will be linked in the description down below if you're interested. And for this one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to share five of my Chinese watches that I still own and I think that are great value. And then I'll throw some suggestions that look to be good value. By the way, most of these watches are homages. So if you're not into them, then this video might not be for you. Okay, without further ado, let's see these watches. First watch that I want to talk about is this Parnas Daytona homage. It comes in the first place because by far this is my favorite watch that I've ever got from AliExpress and overall I like this watch the most in my collection. I bought it two years ago also during 1111 sale and it hasn't let me down ever since. 38.5 millimeters in diameter, 13.2 millimeters thick, 46.5 millimeter lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width and weighs 122 grams sized up for my 7 inch wrist. Because of the smaller case size and relatively normal lug to lug distance, as you can see it wears perfectly on wrist. The thing I like the most about this watch is the presence. There is no way to experience it through the camera fully, you have to see it in person. It is just so beautiful and so versatile. Goes with pretty much every outfit and it's extremely comfortable. Not only that, for $74 asking price you get plenty of watch. Sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, Seiko VK64 movement, solid end links and a screw in links. There are very minor negatives that I found like the clasp which is out of proportion but I believe it has been fixed and the painting on the bezel could be a little better but in general it's really nice and I like it a lot. In the next place is this Royal Oak homage from Didden Design. This was my latest review. If you're into Royal Oak design and you're on a tight budget, this one is definitely the one to go with. Starting with the size, it is on the bigger side, 42 millimeters in diameter, 46 millimeters if you include the crown, a huge 52.5 millimeters lug to lug distance, 12 millimeters thick and weighs 166 grams sized up for my wrist. I have to say that even for my 7 inch wrist it almost looks too big. You can feel it on wrist when wearing it so this one is for a bigger wrist. Nevertheless it feels very well built, a sturdy watch for sure. Very nice finishing all throughout, doesn't feel cheap in any way, you can get it for $31 on a leather strap. For that money you get a full stainless steel construction, a quartz chrono movement, screw down crown and a bracelet is also very decent. Also one of my favorite watches because it doesn't get in the eye so much, the brushed finish and black dial makes it much more low key, another great value for the money in my opinion. Up next is this Pagani Design Yachtmaster homage. Also one of my latest reviews, if you're into budget watch game even for a little bit of time, you have probably heard about Pagani Design. They basically make homages of pretty much every popular watch. This one is an homage to the Rolex Yachtmaster of course, 40mm in diameter, 47mm lug to lug, 13mm thick, 20mm lug width and weighs 144 grams sized. This one also has a beautiful presence, the grey sunburst dial with the grey bezel just works so well, again goes with pretty much everything because of the design. Now there seems to be a shortage of them because quite a few color variations are not available to buy, but you can get this one for around $100 on the sale. It has a sapphire crystal, 60 click unidirectional bezel, the robust Seiko NH35A hacking and hand winding movement, solid end link oyster bracelet with screw in links and a decent clasp screw down crown and 100 meters of water resistance. There are again some negatives like for example the clasp is quite stiff but in general for the asking price you get a lot of watch. To break away from homages for a bit let's take a look at this dress watch from Guanchin. This is Guanchin GJ16034, a very nice 40mm dress piece. This one is my go-to dress watch and also one of my first watches that I've ever bought also during 1111 sale back in 2018 so it's been 3 years and I have to say it's worth every single penny. 
as I've said 40 millimeters in diameter, 11.5 millimeters thick, about 49.5 millimeters lug to lug and weighs 53 grams without the band. Again, very nice sunburst champagne dial, polished indices, highly polished case and a hexagonal bezel, all of that adds up to bring a beautiful dress piece. The price on the sale will be around $64 and for that you get a sapphire crystal, 316L stainless steel case, now they upgraded the movement to the Seiko NH36 which is even better, mine still has a Miyoto movement and it claims on the side that they now do the bezel in tungsten steel, I don't know how true that is though. So again, if you're looking for a simple, elegant watch to go with your suit, this one is the one to go for. The last watch for my collection will be quite an odd one, it is the Watterson Nautilus Homage in rose gold. Now this one won't be for everyone and you can only choose between different dials, the metal color is only one, but just to change it up a bit, I have included this one. It is 38 millimeters in diameter, lug to lug is 44 millimeters, Thickness is just 9.5 millimeters and sized it weighs 131 grams. Again, very nice dress piece, very slim so it will hide underneath the cuff easily. And this one is definitely an eye catcher because it's rose gold obviously. It is very affordable, on sale you can get this one for $30. In my review I've said that I was pleasantly surprised with this one. It is stainless steel coated in rose gold paint, very nice finishing all throughout. The paint doesn't wear off easily, it has a nice detailed black dial, quartz movement and a mineral crystal. Looks way more expensive than it is, but I'd say it's more of a fun timepiece to try and for this price it definitely won't break the bank, so that is my fifth suggestion. Now we'll take a look at a couple of watches that I think are worth attention on AliExpress in general, just a quick overview. The first one is the Addis Dive Tuna, again a watch packed with features, on a bigger side again 47.5 millimeters in diameter. Now don't let that diameter scare you as the lug to lug distance is only 44 millimeters so it wears quite nice on wrist. The thickness is 15 millimeters and weighs around 121 grams not sized. The watch has a full stainless steel construction, sapphire crystal, Seiko NH35A movement, 120 click unidirectional bezel, a very nice bright loom and 300 meters of water resistance, all of that for only $100, probably even less if you use coupons. You just can't go wrong with this one honestly, also you can choose from variety of dials and bracelets, I've had this one and I just cannot recommend this watch enough. Up next is the Pagani Design PD1690 which is an homage to the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. This one is a bit of a let's say premium Pagani design. Now on the listing it says it's 38mm in diameter which is not true, it is 39.7mm in diameter. The lug to lug is 49.2mm and weighs 150 grams, not sized. For the $96 asking price it is again feature packed. Sapphire crystal, Seiko NH35A, solid end links, screw end links, an oyster style bracelet, 200 meters of water resistance and this time they've actually improved the loom, hence the price increase. The indices and hands are filled with the BGW9 loom which is a huge upgrade in my opinion. Look the full reviews up of course but judging from what's on the paper the value is definitely there. And the last watch that I want to include here is the ultra budget Submariner homage from Addis Dive. This one I'm thinking of picking up myself because I've heard many great things about it. You shouldn't expect miracles but for $36 it is pretty good. So again, classic Submariner style, 41mm in diameter, 48mm lug to lug and 163 grams not sized. So it should wear quite nicely on wrist. I picked this one because I think it's just ideal for everyday beating. Miyoto quartz movement, mineral crystal, solid end links with push pins, 120 click unidirectional bezel and 200 meters of water resistance makes up for a perfect beater watch. The watch won't be perfect but for this asking price I think it's worth a try. So there you go, here are my few suggestions for the 1111 AliExpress sale. Why I didn't do 10 watches? Because just 
because as I've said, I've done quite a few of these videos. I highly recommend checking them out. The link is in the description down below if you're interested. Most of the mentioned watches I've had experience with, so I know that the value for the money is there. And please, if you have any sort of suggestions, leave them in the comments down below for others to see. Don't forget to use as many coupons as possible and definitely use this opportunity to buy for cheaper. If you have any sort of questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, if you like my video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. And now thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.